morning. This is Thursday, February the 16th, 2023, and we're on our way to Charleston again. Only this time we're going to see how our friend's doing in the hospital. He's in surgery right now. It's five hours later and all, we're on our way home from the hospital. Uh, he's still in surgery. So everything was going all right as far as we know. Some critter was trying to get the bird seed last night and knocked down the, the feeder. But the, the panels are okay and the roof is okay. The, it's just the, what was hanging it, this right here came loose. This, this thing was hanging it came loose and then it just kind of broke that back or tilted it back. So we'll see if we can fix it. Well, we got it put back together. It's all ready to fill, but we're going to catch that critter before we put it back out with food in it. We're here at the chicken coop. They're out free ranging, but we're going to make them a dust bath. We got this old wash tub right here. It's got a hole in the bottom, so we're just going to cover it with a piece of cardboard and start putting our stuff in for them. Larry's getting some plain old dirt and putting in there. Nice and dry. Not. What about out here on the other side? Mm -hmm. And we got sand there. Mm -hmm. And then we got ashes. Putting some more dirt on top of the ashes. And having it in here under the roof will keep it nice and dry. We'll see if they take advantage of it or not. Oh, we're going to put some of that... Uh, Diametric earth. Yeah, dye of something other earth in it. as dry as I can. We put the dirt and the ashes in that tub. Now it's getting a little more sand, it's dry. I guess it'll get dry. That ain't too bad. This is the last ingredient that I couldn't pronounce. I still can't. I think it's diotometrious earth. Well, their uh, dirt, ashes, whatever, dust bath is ready for them. We'll just see if they use it. A lot of vlogs say that they like a dust bath. So we'll see if they like this. Well, we caught the culprit that knocked down our bird feeder. We'll be taking him down the, the road to the swamp and turning him loose. He's pretty big. You can see the cage is empty. Um, we took him down to the swamp and turned him loose. I was going to film the release, but when I went to film it, the memory card was here at the house. I'd taken it out to do some scanning and hadn't put it back, so I didn't have any memory card to uh, film it. This is uh, Saturday, February the 18th, and it's 7.24 in the morning and 37 degrees. And we're making a run to Walmart. Got some things we need to get. This is Sunday morning, the 19th of February. Something attacked our chicken last night. You can see she's all bloody there on the front of her. Don't know what got in or how. Can't tell. Now he wanted to look for all tracks. I is, all I see is chicken tracks. 
Oh, I see the blood. Huh? I see the blood. See where it was? It was up on the roost when oh, I got it. Oh, it was up on the roost when I got it. I see the blood there. Ooh. The rest of them might have went up here and get away from it. Well, I could probably just run right out there. See, it went way up on the light. Oh, yeah, well, blood up on the light. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. We don't know if it's Petunia or Pansy, because they both look alike now. Now she's up walking around and eating. We're going to set the traps all around tonight. You know what? It was early this morning because that blood still hadn't coagulated. Mm. Larry said it could have been a wharf rat too, besides a possum a or rat, something else. Yeah. Because it went, looks like it went right for the neck. Mm-hmm. Hope we can get it tonight. Don't get any more. I think they ought to be safe during the day, shouldn't they? Yeah. I'm here at the church in the fellowship hall. There's going to be a wedding shower today. We came yesterday did decorating. This is what it looks like. Miss to Mrs. Bride to be. I can tell them the church is a train. They got little festive things, and here's the table. There'll be food all on these two tables. Tinker foods. And the wall up there is decorated. We got chairs all set up so people can sit and see the the bride and open their presents. This is on top of the piano. It's six o'clock Sunday evening and we got the traps out ready to set. That trap is set, we just gotta bait it. You can set the other one. Okay. Hey, George. It's 6 o'clock Sunday night, and we got the trap out. There, George is going right toward it. You better stay out of there. That's a no-no. Want me to take him to the cabana? No. Chickens are, all, chickens are all in. <laughs> Up on the roost. Well, there goes George in. George, get out of there. Shoot. We've got this other smaller trap set here behind the shed, behind the coop. We got wire all up there where the openings were. Larry did that while I was at the wedding shower, I think. And the wedding shower is real nice. She got some nice gifts. I think everybody enjoyed it. It's Monday morning and we're out here to check the traps. Chickens are all okay. Yeah. This trap is empty. No, it didn't catch nothing. Nothing back there either. Hmm. Should I trip them? Yeah. Leave the meat out? Yeah. Okay. We locked uh, George in the cabana. Now we're going to put the meat in the trap. Since whatever this was last night seemed to be a meat eater. Close. 
Want to put one little piece right in, right in front here of the door to get his attention? See if we have anything in the morning. I came back from walking and Larry had caught a rabbit in the trap. It was back in when the chicken pen. catch it in the trap. Oh, he caught it and then he put it in the trap. We got the bigger cage and we're going to move the bunny rabbit from this little tiny cage into the bigger one till we hear if our great granddaughter wants it or not. I'm giving it some water and cabbage and lettuce. Whoa now. Whoa. Oh, well, don't let him loose. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Isn't he cute? Oh, you're so sweet. Yes. You're a pretty little bunny. <laughs> Where's the water at? I God the... dog it. Well, I haven't <laughs> put the water in yet. Scratch me. Oh. There he is in the bigger cage. He's got water and food. So cute. Too bad you eat all of our garden. Well, it turned out this little bunny belonged to our neighbor, and they came by and picked him up after we talked to her. We saw him when we were walking, flagged him down, and asked him if they were missing a bunny rabbit, and they were. It's called a lion headed bunny, and his name is Mr. Darcy. This is Monday morning, and we're on our way to visit our friend in the hospital in Charleston again. We're here in Charleston. There's the, one of the marinas. I just came back from visiting with Donald, and he's looking real good. He's got a, you know, a big incision where they cut him open, but he's uh, just doing well. And he's hoping to get to go home tomorrow. Okay, what'd you get? I got cabbage. All now right. For, for supper with sausage. Where'd you get it from? I got it out of pots where we grew it. All right. So, cabbage and sausage. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we and vinegar on it. <laughs> Not for me. Well, we caught a possum last night here by the chicken house. He's kind of big. And it looks like he was starting to try to dig under there to get into them. They think this is the one that might have attacked our chicken. He's so big. The chickens are like, ha, 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 you can't get us now. We never knew how much work having a cat was going to do, or a kitten. Well, I guess he's a cat. Anyway, he likes to chase camellias, and he tore this screen down on the greenhouse so we gotta staple it back up he did that after chasing camellias George loves being in the greenhouse but we got stapled back up glad we got the electric stapler but got it all fixed down through there so repaired George just keeps us busy hey George we got yeah, the potatoes have grown a lot, and we're going to pick this little bit of broccoli because it's getting ready to bloom. We're going to pick this because it's going to bloom. And we got tomatoes. Look at those tomatoes. And these are regular sized tomatoes, they're not the cherry. Tomatoes coming up. Yeah, this is the best boy here, tomato. And it's got little tomatoes on it. And this is the cherry tomato. It just grows really big, and it's got a lot of blossoms. They're on the other side, but there's a lot of blossoms. Potatoes he planted last are growing. We've still got lots of lettuce. This is Wednesday evening, and we're on our way to church. The men meet together, and the women meet together for a women's missionary. So that's what we're doing this evening. Got to be there at 6.30, so we'll probably be done in an hour, maybe less. 
my African violet that I've had a year or so is finally blooming. It just looks so pretty I had to show it to you. The leaves are pretty too and shiny. We're going to take this roost that we put up across here down and move it because uh, you can't open and shut the door to the coop and then the, the uh, chickens are pooping raw down where we got to walk and we want it to go in the sand. I think that'll be better. We put a, a brace here and then just run that one by across. If they can hop up there on it, I think they ought to be able to. Now it'll be up higher because they like being high and it will keep them and we got the use of the moving, the, opening and shutting the door again. Because it, before it would, and Larry was hitting his head on it too when he was trying to get into the coop. Larry went and got a new screw. That should hold them. We're here at the chicken coop and it's I'll getting dark. Leave them alone. There's two. Laverne and Shirley are up on the new roost, but we had to, Larry had to put them up there. The other five are there on the top row, but Laverne and Shirley made it up there with Larry's help. We'll see if they get a stay. Fatme and Stephanie are here. Fatme's playing, and Stephanie's out digging up the uh, blueberry plants they call them. There goes Stephanie and, and Bentley home. She got uh, some azaleas, a couple small ones, and camellia, and blueberries. She got some good plants. I'm here at Betty's, and we've been to Walmart for quite a while now. <laughs> we had to find these odd light bulbs, but we found them. So now she has light. She can see what she's eating again. That's what it looks like with them off. So we put two new ones in. Okay. And there it is on. There's four, but two makes it pretty bright. Larry's getting pine straw and leaves and gunk off the pool cover. George says, what happened? <laughs> that was an accident. Come here, George. When you turned around, you cooked him in the head with the pipe. I did? Yes. Well, I'm sorry, George. <laughs> We got about an inch of rain hand. last night. Give me a hand, George. Uh, that's all I'm doing. Oh. Come on, George. Come on, George. I want to keep. I want to push him in the pool. <laughs> Take a bath. Still working on the well, bits at a time, where Larry is. He's doing most of it. But you can see. That's how far it goes down now. Up to Larry's knees. <laughs> We'll have to find another piece of pipe to put on there. Yeah, this is the last one. I can't do barber no more. <laughs> it's not easy. We're gone from red clay to gray clay.
This is a job for a young person. <laughs> Ready to pull it out? Oh, the joint's almost in the water. When we started earlier today, it was up at the top of that wood. Want me to help you? No. Yeah. Once the suction lets loose, it's a lot easier to get out. And that's about how much we get each time. It's Sunday morning, so we're on our way to church and Sunday school. Our pastor in North Carolina has been having a lot of good sermons lately, so here's another snippet. Turn with me to the book of James. James chapter number three. Most of you know I'm a history buff. I love history. I think that the more that we can understand and, <clears throat> and know history, especially biblical history, it helps us understand a lot of the Word of God even more. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, <clears throat> without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in the power of them that make peace. Okay, it was good talking to you. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye, Larry. Bye. Love you. Love y'all. Yep. We're on the road again. We're going to Charleston. Larry's got an appointment with his heart doctor that hasn't seen in several years. We're on our way to Steffi's from Charleston. There's a lot of swamp down through here. That Larry's the doctor thought Larry was doing pretty good with his heart, but he wants to have some tests on his arteries in his neck and the veins in his legs. So that'll be coming up. But overall, he was doing pretty good. When we caught the little black rabbit last week, Larry promised it to our great-granddaughter. So now we've come here where they raise rabbits and got two little ones, one for Emma and one for Haley so they can have a rabbit that they were promised by Grandpa. We're here at the feed store. Larry's gone in to buy some rabbit food and a waterer. Larry's got his scrap metal ready to take to the junkyard. He added some more stuff that he had to it. I wanted to show you, if you don't pick the broccoli heads, it will bloom. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty. Right here you can see the the broccoli there at the end of it, and then how it's bloomed. These were just little pieces that we didn't didn't pick. And there's one. And it's starting to bloom on the bottom. Broccoli that little is not hardly worth picking. This is the 28th of February, but it feels like spring, more like May. You can see this sawtooth oak back there are leafing out and the fig tree getting leaves on it. Everything's just looking pretty and green. We've had 80 degrees again today and yesterday and I think the next two days. So it's a pretty time of year. Good night. God bless.